I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test paper of my student Aaron. Let me first congratulate him for getting almost 100% marks. The idea here is for you to get prepared and score just like he is doing. Right? So here are a few questions which we are going to discuss. We will take them one by one. You can actually pause the video, copy these two questions and then try to solve them. Here is the first one for us to discuss. Question number one here is find the side length marked x to the nearest hundredth. So we are given two different triangles and we need to find out x the side length in these two different triangles. Now they are right triangles so whenever you are given right triangles you can use primary trigonometric ratios sine and cosine. To remember we have sine is a positive over hypotenuse cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent so katoa now in the very first one what you notice is that we are given the hypotenuse so this is the hypotenuse the angle is given to us as 16 degrees and we need to find side opposite since we are working with opposite and hypotenuse we should use sine to solve the first triangle right so let's call this triangle a and we'll call this as b so let's use sine what is sine of 16 sine of 16 degrees will be opposite over hypotenuse right so we'll write opposite over hypotenuse which is from 16 if you see the opposite side it is x x over hypotenuse is always opposite 90 degrees right which is the longest side of a triangle now we can rearrange and say find what x is so x is 18 times sine of 16 so we can write x equals to 18 times sine of 16 degrees right so you now let us use our calculator to find the answer the calculator should be set in degrees so x is 18 times sine of 16 degrees 16 degrees is equal to 4.961 so we get the answer as equal to 4.961 now the question is nearest hundred so let's round it to the nearest hundred which in this case will be 4.96 now that is the answer right let's do the second question now part B in part B what you notice is the, the angle given to us is 38 degrees side opposite to the angle is given as 20 and x is adjacent to the right triangle right so it is between 38 degrees and the right triangle so what we are given here is the adjacent and one of the sides opposite and adjacent sides right so we can use tan now what is tan of 38 degrees tan of 38 degrees in this case will be opposite side over adjacent side so opposite side is 20 adjacent for us is 16 so we can write this as 20 over x therefore we can cross multiply and solve for x this is kind of a ratio so x is equals to 20 divided by tan of 38 degrees so let's use calculator and figure this out so it is 20 divided by tan of 38 degrees which is equals to 25.598 and rounding it to the hundredth place we get 25.60 so that is the answer for this particular question right now in this question the units are not there for the side lengths at times if there are units so let us say if there are units meters here then you should include units in your answer right let me just add units here let's write centimeter for this so 20 centimeter in that case you have to write that x is this many centimeters right so that is kind of a precaution you should take i hope that helps thank you and all the best